Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. A dear friend of mine a number of years ago had the idea if artists banded together that they could create a new world. It's my extreme pleasure to introduce the founder of Artists for Human Rights, Ann Archer. Artists change things faster than anyone else on the planet. Whether you're a filmmaker or a poet or a painter or a writer or a songwriter or a photographer, uh, your impact can change hearts and minds overnight. It's such an inspirational story um, about the resilience of a human being, what a human being can go through, come out on the other end, not be a victim, stand up, win, and go back and help his people. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Bull Dow. In the late 1980s, John Dow, along with 20,000 other Sudanese boys, fled his homeland. His journey covered over 1,000 miles in 14 years. He tells their story. Until 1987, when I was 12 years old, this is when my village was attacked. In the middle of night, there was a sound of gun and whistling of bullets and woke me up right in the middle of night. We ran into so many ambushes being beaten. You see my body right now, you can see a lot of scars. From my village to Ethiopia, it took us about three months. We went for almost two days without water. And so others didn't want to go, they want to die there. We kept going. And then we found mud. Mud is like mashed potatoes. We added so that it keep our throat wet. Others didn't want to come. They, they just, they died there. Like I said before, we were 27. By the time we got to Ethiopia, we were only four. Others were killed by wild animals, hyenas, lions, attacked by other human beings. Two or three, five boys dying every day. But at the border, there's a river called Gilo. Gilo is um, infested with a lot of crocodiles in it. It took us about three days to figure out how we can cross. We dive into the water and others drown, others eaten by crocodiles, others shot and killed, others captured and others lost. United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, which is known as UNHCR, is bringing food. They heard about us. They bring clothes, they bring food, World Food Program was there, and then the World Vision also was there. Soon my name came out on the board. John, you're going to Syracuse, New York. Later they took us into our apartment. Honestly, I did not know how to turn on or off light. So they were showing three of us how to turn on and off, you know, all these things. This is hot water, this is cold water. And almost at the end of the day, they took us to a grocery store. You know, came across a vial of dog food and a cat food, you know. I said, this is really a better wealthy country that even animals have their eyes. <laughs> and then I enrolled at Onondaga Community College, finished my associate degree in 2004. And then I transferred to Syracuse University, Maxwell School of Citizenship, doing public policy. I want to give to other people who need it. That's when I decided to form an organization called Lost Boy Foundation of New York. It was built, and then I formed the John Dow Foundation. It was really difficult. I, John, I consume things that I will never forget. I add mud, I drink human urine, I chew a grass like a cow. I never thought I would, I would survive. What is the responsibility of the rest of the world to prevent this situation from happening again? You know, it needs somebody to tell them, you know, if you need peace, a long lasting peace, you got to negotiate in a, in a way that is also giving room to other or your opponent, for example, South Sudan. Well, what I am saying, issues are not the same. The, the, the problem that the Southern Sudanese are fighting with the North mm -hmm. are not the same in other places in, in Africa. But they cannot benefit when people are fighting. So why don't you just divide it? Why don't you respect the choice of people in Southern Sudan when they decided that they want to be independent? With my humanitarian work, the John Dow Sudan Foundation have built a medical clinic that have been helping many people. So far, we have treated over 57,000 people. We have vaccinated so many people. We have ambulance. We have all those programs. But I'm adding another thing, such as Southern Sudan Institute that right. will bring agriculture and other things. It is my duty to help my people. There is nothing, there is no way you can be productive when you are fighting each other. You are wasting your energy by fighting each other. Why don't you put your in energy in use? 
mm-hmm. of c- producing food and doing other things, going to school and do other things. Mm-hmm. You know, can help yourself. You have to find a way to mm-hmm. uh, bring a self-reliance activities Absolutely. so that they can produce their own thing. That's what that's that's my mission now. I know that a feature film is in uh, the works uh, based on your autobiography. God grew tired of us. The documentary was made on your arrival in the United States and everything that happened to you thereafter. And uh, I agree with you. I think a feature film telling the story of your experience uh, has the ability to inspire people. When you go to that, uh, um, how do you call it, movie what? Movie theater. Mm-hmm. You leave with impact. Something is with you. Well, thank you, John. Yeah. You are a real inspiration. Thank you. I love talking with you. God bless. Thank you. John Dow has such a gorgeous, humble heart. I feel very, very grateful to have uh, been here tonight and, and heard a story. It was entertaining, seeped with deep, important spiritual and emotional information. Well, I'm involved in a John Dow uh, film that we want to make. Here you'll find people from the field that have insights that you won't get anywhere else. It's a, it's a good story to tell, but also you walk out of the movie theater or you look at the painting or you hear the song and you're like, Ah, what can I do? What can I be? How can I be involved? This was my first Artist for Human Rights speaker series, and I was absolutely blown away. John really personifies compassion. I got these cool little items here: this DVD and this cool T-shirt. And hey, I'm I'm excited about the next one. I want you tonight, whatever you're doing, being faced by any difficult situation, never give up. Thank you very much.